The JK flip-flop is a memory symbol that behaves similarly to a toggle. It remembers the last value of its input and gives you the ability to select whether the output can be set or reset. To get a JK flip-flop into your program, click the logic folder under the program view and type in the speed key JK. Alternatively, you can expand the memory folder under logic symbols and then click and drag the JK flip-flop over to the detail view. Now like we said before, the JK flip-flop kind of behaves like a toggle. The set and reset inputs of the flip-flop set the output of the flip-flop true or false. But the clock input affects the output differently depending on the state of the J and K inputs. The J input allows the output of the flip-flop to be set true, and the K input allows the output of the flip-flop to be set false. So the clock input can only make the flip-flop true if the J input is true. And likewise, the clock input can only make the JK flip-flop false if the K input is true. It's a little weird, but let's build a quick example program that'll help. The set, reset, and clock inputs will be connected directly to the output of an X panel, while the J and K inputs of the flip-flop will be driven by the outputs of separate toggles. And those toggles will be connected to the outputs of the X panel. And finally, the output of the flip-flop is going to be fed back to the X panel so that we can monitor its state. Let's compile and upload. Just like a regular toggle, the set and reset buttons set or reset the output of the flip-flop. But while the J and K inputs are false, the clock input has no effect on the output. But once we set J high, the clock can set the output of the flip-flop high, but that's all it can do. It can only set the output of the flip-flop high. The K input, on the other hand, allows the clock to set the output of the flip-flop false. And the K input only allows the clock to set the output false. But with both the J and K inputs enabled, the entire flip-flop behaves like a regular toggle. So the only difference between the JK flip-flop and the toggle is the fact that the J and K inputs allow you to change the effect that the clock input has on the output.